Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss one more HTML5 API called drag and drop. This API is very useful for creating interactive applications. So I am using WebStorm and uh, drag and drop an empty project okay nothing in it html file index uh, drag and drop we can create a style sheet and one more javascript Ninjas. Okay. So first of all, we must add these files. Link. href And let's include here ninjas. Uh oh. Uh, let's create two divs uh, div one let's create div two and inside div one div two let's copy this img this was And now we will use HTML5 feature for draggable true. And we must put some ID. ID is mandatory. Let's say uh, image to image. Uh, let's see the output. Okay, now in CSS just write div1 and div2 applies some effect let's say width is 200 pixel height is 200 pixel and uh, border give some border also Okay, now check. Okay, so you can see that I can't drop right now. So I must listen these events in main JS. So for this, I must write functions. Mm. Function create one allow drop and allow drop will take one argument called event so first of all we must event dot prevent default prevent default so whatever default behaviors any event have it will be disabled and uh, one function is drag let's create one function it will also accept one argument and in this drag we'll create one event dot data transfer data transfer set data uh, set data it will accept two parameters first the name let's say name is uh, text some, uh, anything you can write here event dot target id dot id and we are done with the drop 
sorry drag now we'll create one more function drop and this drop function will also accept one argument event dot first of all prevent default and then create one variable called data and here we will put the information about the uh, data to be placed so event dot data transfer transfer dot now here you will use get data and what data we will get whatever we have set so what we have said we have said text so just put text and close in brackets text okay and now we need to append this data in the target the new div the new location append child document dot again get element by id blah blah the data this data will be used here so now we must use these functions here it is very easy on drop on drop we'll call function called drop event event and on drag you can see lots of event on drag on drag and on drag enter on drag leave on drag over on drag start all these functions can be used for this drag and drop purpose so on drag over on drag over let's call it allow once allow drop event we can use all these functions here so can so that we can use it again and again once we are done with the div2 drop then we can do vice versa div1 div2 so we can swap and here on drop on okay this must be use you can see that now I can place it the image here and there this is very basic drag and drop feature we can do it a lot more things so I'll upload it in JS bin this example you can find it there so for now thank you guys please like and share my videos thanks